episode 2,775 of the number one podcast in Apple Podcast for Job Search. You are watching or listening to No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm Jeff Alpin, and welcome. You know, it's been a long time I've been on, and it's wonderful to be serving a new demographic, Gen Z, and helping them land work. And that's what today's show is about. I include a story of some work I did with someone a while back uh, that turned out well. And I'm just going to tell you, if you're in Gen Z and you've got stuff to learn, and that's good. Thanks for discovering the show. I hope you find it helpful. I hope you share it with your friends and on LinkedIn. It will help other people. And I'll be back in just one moment. I know it can be tough, but I want to offer you some advice, tips that will help you land your position. Now, let's start off with the premise that you're looking for a job. You're part of a generation that's more tech savvy, more entrepreneurial, more socially conscious than any before you. You're facing a job market that's more competitive than ever. What do you do? So I've got some advice for you. And let me just preface this by saying, if you're in a situation where you're pre-college and you have an aptitude for math and hard science, dig in deep, switch directions, go toward that, because artificial intelligence, I'm not talking about chat GPT per se, but AI is going to shape so much of work going forward. And these areas, math, science, biology, physics, are going to be things that are going to be impacted differently and more advantageously for you. So again, if you're before college, you have that option. But let's say you're out of college, you're out of school. What can you do? And the first thing is, I like your digital skills. You grew up with this technology. You have strong digital skills. Be sure you highlight these on your resume and in your cover letter because employers are looking for people who can use technology to solve problems and improve efficiency and sometimes tell them what to do. Number two is get involved with internships and volunteer, pro- volunteer work. They offer you a great way to get experience and learn new sc- skills. They can also help you network with, with people in your field. So when you're looking for internships and volunteer opportunities, be sure to focus on organizations that are relevant to your career goals. Number three is be creative. Don't just rely on job boards. Get creative by attending industry events, networking with people on LinkedIn, reaching out to companies directly. The more people you know, the more likely you are to hear about positions. Fourth, don't be afraid to negotiate. If you're offered a job, don't be afraid to negotiate your salary and sometimes your benefits. You're known for being more confident and assertive than previous generations, so use this to your advantage. And if that isn't you, do the best you can. Watch my video called The Easiest Way to Negotiate a Higher Salary for Yourself because it will give you a very gentle way of doing negotiation if you're not someone who could be more aggressive. The last point I want to make is be yourself. And by that, I always talk about risking everything. So often people go on interviews. It's not just about Gen Z. It's about all demographics. They go on interviews and they're nice, and they're polite, and they're not themselves. Be authentic. Be you. Don't try to act in a particular way because your parents told you that you're supposed to act this way. Employers want to hire people who are genuine and passionate about your work. And I just want to relate a story about someone who I helped uh, who graduated college right before the pandemic. So a lot of the job search got wiped out. And when he went uh, interviewing, he had not found anything for nine, 10 months. And he was asked on the interview, what are you looking for? And he said, I'm not looking for a high pressure environment, but one where I can do good work and get mentorship. And his mom and dad shook their heads 
So, not the right answer, but it was. It was a mature answer that identified what his personal needs were. And if he wasn't hired, he would have been okay with that, even if they weren't. So, risk it all by saying the truth about what you want and what you need. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a couple of ways I can help you even more. First of all, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you listen to or watch the show. I like knowing I'm helping some people. Also, join me at jobsearch.community. Now, whether you become an insider or not, there's a lot of stuff on the homepage to help you. Books, guides, video courses, videos, some good stuff to help you. And if you become an insider, you get access to all my video courses, books, and guides. And you can ask me questions, and I log in daily to respond to everyone. If you become an Insider Plus member, all the same stuff I've mentioned to you before. Plus, you can get me on a Zoom call to answer your questions more immediately. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one or group coaching, become an Insider Premium member. There's a lot there that we'll work on to help you land your next job. And you get all the other content as well. Hope you have a terrific day, and most importantly, be great.